53 years old. He has a lot of living left to do. Absolutely That's young. Does. Still ahead, unclaimed cash, and you may be surprised who's on that list. Who, how you can find out if it's you right now on New Center 5 at 6. You're watching WCTV TV Channel 5 in high definition. This is New Center 5 at 6. Local live coverage you can count on. All my neighbors smell it. We're just, you know, reading the paper and watching the news and expecting the worst. How safe is it? After a string of explosions, the smell of gas in neighborhoods raises immediate concerns. Good evening, everyone. With three deaths in our area since December, the anxiety is understandable. In fact, one gas company reached out to customers today to offer reassurance. It began, of course, with the blast in Situate. Then homes in Gloucester, Somerset, and Manchester, New Hampshire were destroyed. Tuesday's tragedy in Manchester is still under investigation, but many neighborhoods remain skeptical. Jack Harper is live in Linfield tonight. Jack. On Lincoln Ave, Anthony, this is certainly one of those places, and here's the reason. You smell gas here all the time. Obviously, the line goes right under there. National Grid at one point came by, they put this little marker in, and that's all they did. They left. They left, but the smell didn't. He said on a scale of 1 to 10, we were at a 2 for the scent, but I said it's always smelled this way. And he said they recently put a uh, stronger odor in, in the gas, and I said, but it's always smelled this way, so I don't know what the difference is. You don't want to be on a 2 on the scale? I want to be a 0. <laughs> Marie Conyers has lived here for 12 years, smelled gas for 12 years. National Grid told her there is an issue, but it's not serious enough to worry. I'm very concerned. They came and they, a week after I met this gentleman, a flag showed up and they still haven't done anything. I don't know what the flag means. No one has contacted me since. All my neighbors smell it. We're just, you know, reading the paper and watching the news and expecting the worst. Oh, yes, we can smell it right here. You take a walk around the neighborhood and you keep smelling it. The smell varies, drifts, but it's strong much of the time on much of Lincoln Ave. I mean, it's fairly strong each time I walk by here to um, just this direction or that direction, I smell it. So it doesn't matter what the season is either. It's, it's pretty strong. We always encourage our customers to call us when they smell gas or suspect a problem. National Grid says it checks out all leaks, but doesn't fix them all right away because some don't pose an immediate danger. Hardly reassuring on Lincoln Ave. I certainly understand that, and someone who has more intimate knowledge of the product and the system, uh, it's easy for me to say, um, and easy for our employees to say to someone that, you know, that's really not a concern. Overall, National Grid says the system is in better shape than it's ever been. If they find a leak that poses a danger, they'll fix it immediately. But if it's your street, your house, your neighborhood, any gas is too much gas. In Linfield, I'm Jack Harper, New Center 5. There has been a conviction in the 2007 shooting death of Kiara Levin, a 22-year-old Kentucky student caught in gun crossfire. A state jury today found Casimiro Barros guilty of voluntary manslaughter, a lesser count than the original charge of murder. Police say gunfire traded by Barros and Manuel Andrade hit Levin as she sat in the car outside of Dorchester House. Andrade will go on trial later this year. To Project Economy now, and despite a feel of spring in the air today, at Boston City Hall, the talk was about a freeze, pay freeze, and job freeze. News Center 5's Rondella Richardson is live in Boston tonight. Rondella? Today, Mayor Menino and his staff had a meeting, a two-and-a-half-hour meeting, with members of the 44 city unions. That includes police, fire, and the teachers. The tough topic? A pay freeze. The raises that were to kick in in July would be on hold for a year. The reason is Boston has a $140 million budget gap or deficit. The pay freeze proposed would save the city $55 million. So far, five unions and the wage delay now imposed on non-union employees has made up $4 million of the $55 million. No decision yet on the part of police and fire, but EMS workers have agreed. The city says this is a way to reduce the number of potential layoffs. I think it's an extremely difficult time for everyone. Everyone is looking for certainty. Um, and unfortunately, because of the changing nature every day of the fiscal situation, we're not able to make promises that there will be no job loss, but the promise we can make is that any money that we save from the wage delay will go to reducing the number of people in a bargaining unit that will be laid off and hopefully potentially eliminating people from having to be laid off in that bargaining unit. And the teachers are a big group. and. 
The mayor says, the city says, if they were to agree, that would be a $30 million savings right there. Uh, the teachers union says they're still looking at the information and they are not ready to comment publicly yet. The mayor wants everyone to know that he and his cabinet have taken a 3% pay cut. The mayor must have a balanced budget before the city council for April 8th. Live in Boston, Rondella Richardson, New Center 5. All right, Rondella, President Barack Obama has unveiled his first budget and it is already drawing some Republican criticism. The president's budget director hand delivered the $3.5 trillion plan to Capitol Hill today. The president says the budget marks a new era of responsibility. In fact, it says that right on the cover. The plan includes a middle class tax cut and money to expand health care, but Republicans say it fails to try to control the deficit. After the White House proposed cutting payments to private insurers, the stock market had a response, another drop in the market. The Dow fell 89 points, closing at 71.82 today. The Nasdaq ended the day down 34 points at 13.91. Tonight, a story that stretches back almost a decade. A woman took on City Hall over stress in the workplace, and even though she passed away, the fight continued, and just this week, victory. New Center 5's Amalia Barretta joins us live from Salem with the story. Amalia? Right, for nine years, Claire Cole claimed that she was disabled by her job here at Salem's Department of Public Works. Well, now the Supreme Judicial Court has had the final say and is ordering Salem to pay up. Claire Cole was an administrative assistant for Salem's Department of Public Works for 25 years. In March 2000, she was told she was being laid off that summer. News her family says literally broke her heart. So I got her in the car and, and drove her right over to the hospital. So it was within 20 minutes that she had the heart attack. She walked in and they put her right on a gurney and said, yes, you are having a heart attack. Claiming the heart attack was caused by stress over losing her job, Cole asked for disability benefits, which the city of Salem denied. She decided to fight. Her children promised to continue the fight after she died of cancer five years ago. She did ask us before she had passed to see that we could get it to go all the way. She did not want me to drop it because she truly believed that she deserved this. She worked hard for the city for 25 years. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Judicial Court concluded that the layoff conversation Cole had with her supervisor caused the emotional stress, which within one hour caused the heart attack. It took nine years well, to win the battle. The irony here is that the reason the city was appealing supposedly was so that they wouldn't open the door to these kinds of cases by setting precedent. What they've done is set precedent. For the city to, to fight it for so long, and now they're in a financial crisis, it just hurt themselves. What would Michael Cole tell his mother about this victory? Smile. The family, which includes three children, will not discuss how much they will be splitting as Cole's beneficiaries. They'd say that it's not that much, and some of it will be given to charity. Reporting live from Salem, Amalia Barada, New Center 5. You're watching News Center 5 in high definition, local, live coverage you can count on. Some drivers say they've been taken for a ride in the fast lane. Coming up, the suspected glitch with those windshield transponders. Also ahead tonight, the owner of the Boston Celtics finds himself on a very high interest list. And he's not the only local celebrity. And drum roll, please. Well done, well done. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, some rain is moving in for tomorrow night, but the second storm could be snow and ice. I'll tell you all about it on my final forecast. Stay tuned. You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. <laughs> what will the that? weather be this Mother's Day? <laughs> oh, good. Oh. oh, we are looking back through the years with our favorite weather guy. Don't miss it. And then at 6.30, Charlie Gibson. Good evening, Liz and Anthony. I just want to add my best wishes to Dick Albert. I know he's been around since Paul Revere made his ride, and the station, Channel 5, just won't be the same without him. All the best to him. I hope there's nothing but sunshine in his future forecast. Coming up on World News, President Obama's budget changes many government policy priorities, and we'll look at what it means to you. Laura Bush speaks out for the first time about her life and that of the former president has changed since leaving the White House. All that on World News. Closed caption funding provided by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Responsibility. What's your policy? 
positively the best place to start your day. Here's where your night lights up in the most unexpected ways. Here's where the newsmakers make news every Sunday. Here's where you see real life drama with 2020 vision. Here's where you open your eyes to a New England morning and quality coverage all day long. Here's where you see everything New England has to offer. And here is where the world comes home to you. Lexus has a commitment to excellence, to do things right the first time, and to always exceed expectations. Ira Lexus is exceeding expectations by giving you zero down on over 300 new Lexus in stock. Right now at Ira Lexus, get a new Lexus IS250 for $399 a month, zero down. You have the right to a great deal on a Lexus. Like a new Lexus IS250 for $399 a month, zero down. Call 1-866-CALL-IRA or click iracars.com. Want color that shines all year long? Spend 10 minutes a month with Natural Instincts. It's the healthier way to blend away gray and give you color that shines on. How? The antioxidant-rich ammonia-free formula feels good and looks even better. It's color with natural, healthy-looking shine time after time after time. In fact, the more often you use Natural Instincts, the healthier your hair looks. It's the healthy-looking color that shines in just 10 minutes' time. Natural Instincts. It's all good. This is the Subaru Dealers of New England Washington's birthday sales event. Get ready for adventure in a brand new Subaru Outback. The best selling wagon in America with symmetrical all wheel drive standard and the government's highest possible five star safety rating. Get 2,000 cash back plus 2.9% financing. Don't miss the Subaru Washington's birthday sales event. Tonight, are we about to face yet another crisis? This time it's credit cards, and even if you pay on time and play by the rules, you could fall victim. Don't get caught off guard. Tonight, watch ABC's World News with Charles Gibson. So if you use Fastlane when you go through tolls in Massachusetts, you'll want to take a good look at the next statement you get from the Turnpike. News Center 5 has learned that the electronic equipment is responsible for a million faulty charges in just the past year. The Turnpike Authority says the equipment is affected by weather conditions and the result can mean drivers are overcharged. It happens on day, rainy days, snowy days, where the read isn't as clear. It gives an ambiguous read. Thousands of cars, thousands of people, that's thousands of dollars. And like I said, with the tolls going up right now, this has got to be fixed. The Turnpike gives customers 60 days to dispute a bill, but some say that period should be extended now that this problem has been discovered. When it comes to lists, there are ones you want to be on and ones that you don't. Put the state's abandoned property list in the plus column, and that means money is coming your way. Red Sox president and CEO Larry Lucchino makes the list. He's got 583 bucks coming back. Celtics owner Wick Grosbeck is there, too. Doubtful $613 is going to help sign any free agents. Yeah. I don't know what you think about that. Hall of Fame baseball broadcaster Peter Gammons has a bigger payday waiting, almost 13 grand. And even Channel 5 Hall of Famer Natalie Jacobson makes this what? prestigious list. Yes, but sorry, Nat, it's just a hundred bucks. It's hundred bucks. <laughs> For a link to the abandoned property list, click money on the bostonchannel.com. And Natalie's even in the studio with us yeah, tonight, I too. Yeah, her ears perked up I she found out there's a hundred bucks did. out there. <laughs> oh, can we believe it? The time has come. We cannot believe it. Oh. One last forecast from our very own Dick Albert. He's putting the finishing touches on it right now, so <laughs> keep those boxes of tissues handy. <laughs> Experience luxury fit for a chief executive. The Buick LaCrosse. Now with 0% financing for 60 months during our President's Day sale. See your New England Buick Pontiac GMC dealer today. It was 50% off or 60% or 20% guaranteed. I can't remember what the deal was, but I do know that National Floors Direct beat their price by 15%. I saved $900. At National Floors Direct, we offer free next day installation of beautiful name brand carpeting and hardwood flooring. And we'll beat anyone's price by 15% or it's free. Call 888-400-FLOOR. It was just a great experience and no payments for one year. Now have your floor installed by March 31st, 2009 and take an additional 5% off.
Your attention, please. This is a public auction notice. REDC is back in the Massachusetts and New Hampshire areas with over 230 lender foreclosed homes that must be sold. It's a one-day only public auction event on March 7th with multiple remote bidding locations. Online bidding is available. View the home's auction dates and all information at ushomeauction.com. Foreclosed homes auction prices, easy financing. Act now. Mortgage rates are at their lowest in history. For your free auction brochure, free registration, and all auction details, visit ushomeauction.com. That's www.ushomeauction.com. It's the full-size pickup with soaring approval ratings. The GMC Sierra. Now with 0% financing for 60 months during our President's Day sale. See your New England Buick Pontiac GMC dealer today. Now, the Storm Team 5 HD forecast. Well, I would call this heading for the last roundup. As, uh, I am, uh, this is my final forecast on Channel 5, and I want to tell you that uh, I've enjoyed all the years here, and um, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen here in the next couple of days. As we're angsting over the storm right here, which looks like a rainstorm for us. You see the, uh, the rain over the Great Lakes? Well, it's snowing over the western portion of this country, and that area is going to come in on late Saturday night and Sunday morning, and that could be snow or sleet or ice. But meanwhile, we're going to have a balmy evening, mild, light winds, no problems, 34 to 40 degrees at 10 o'clock, and at midnight, 33 to 38 with a light southwesterly breeze. And tomorrow is going to be a great day. It's going to feel like spring. You're going to love it. 1 o'clock in the afternoon 47 to 55 and 46 to 53 at around four o'clock in the afternoon so it's going to be we call it a warm day and wow is what i'm calling it the winds of warmth for tomorrow from the south and the southwest but look at these showers coming in at night now that's with a cold front so it's going to turn a little colder atc no i almost forgot what that means Oh, a tad colder. That's what it means. ATC for Saturday as the clouds linger. And then what happens when the cold air comes in? We've got a couple of low pressure systems moving up the coast. It may be cold enough for snow and sleet. And it depends on how close these get to us, how much precipitation we get. The second storm would be Sunday night or Monday, but it's not etched in stone exactly where that will go and how close it will be. So how much snow are we going to get? Who's going to get snow and sleet? Let's look at that. Looks like rain and sleet on the Cape. Boston southward down through Plymouth and Providence. A snow and sleet situation, perhaps a couple of inches. And then mostly snow to the north and west. And way to the north and west, not much. Right now, it looks like a few inches. Not a blockbuster storm. But uh, uh, the rest of the weather team is angsting over this. We're not sure what's going to happen. But we will keep you posted. All right, let's look at the five-day forecast for you. Overnight tonight, partly cloudy, not as cold as recent nights, 28 to 38 degrees. And the forecast for tomorrow is for basically a not a bad day. Some sun, windy and mild with temperatures uh, 48 to 56. And here's your five-day forecast. There you have it, 52, 39. And look how cold it is the end of the weekend, the beginning of next week. Winter is not over, I can tell you that. <laughs> For sure. That's your professional opinion, that is, is it? That is my professional <laughs> opinion. That's right. All right, we're going to segue into sports here in just a moment. Mike Lynch, you've got to put your camera oh, down no, here, yeah. okay? What are you doing, Mike? But the Super Bowl does this. <laughs> we're not done with you yet, so don't go anywhere, uh, all okay. right? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> well, you know, we, we, uh, one Titan from his business is saying goodbye, and another yes. Titan from golf said goodbye, but just temporarily today nice because done. Tiger Woods, you know, one day after celebrating his comeback with a win, Tiger lost, eliminated from that match play championship this afternoon by Tim Clark of South Africa. This was a pounding folks four and two so tiger is done tiger actually went out of bounds with a tee shot on the 15th hole that actually knocked him out of it clock played very steady didn't have a bogey through all 16 holes in this tournament today so tiger's out of this tournament but that doesn't mean he's done by a long shot tiger of course will be back playing in a couple of weeks and he will definitely be playing in the masters in april all right, Celtics backup guard Gabe Pruitt arrested this morning in Hollywood for investigation of misdemeanor drinking. This happened a couple hours after the Celtics lost to the Clippers. Pruitt's from L.A., went to USC. He was pulled over for having tinted windows, which are illegal in California. He was released on $5,000 bail. And he released this statement today. He said, I understand how fortunate I am to be a member of the Celtics. I'm sorry to my team, my family, the fans, and everyone who believes in me. I made a mistake, and I have learned a valuable lesson. 
Now to the Red Sox. Home today against the Pirates in Fort Myers. John Lester on the mound. Strong night for him. Two innings. Gave up two hits. Didn't walk anybody. Struck out two. And the Red Sox had a 2-0 lead in the ninth inning, but they said goodbye and good luck to that lead because the Pirates scored three and the Red Sox lost. Good good luck. <laughs> All right, Dick, pay attention to this. Finally, tonight, as we bid farewell to our friend Dick Albert, we have some breaking news. Now, Dick's been telling folks that in retirement, he's going to be painting, working on his website, and learning a new language. But the Sports Center 5 team has been digging for months, and now we uncover the truth. Please welcome Newton, Massachusetts native, Dick Albert. Yes, Dick Albert has signed on as a free agent with the Red Sox, who are looking for some veteran help. And the Sox are thrilled to have him. I thought he came in in a, uh, a situation that, you know, kind of a fishbowl where, you know, obviously everybody's looking at him and what he was going to do. And I thought he handled himself with, uh, with ease. He's the glue that holds the ship together. And, uh, you know, watching it through the news and stuff, you know, it, was, it, was, it would have been sad to see him in another uniform. And he's a very good player and we're genuinely excited to have him. Uh, not only is he a great athlete and a great teammate, but he's a great friend of mine. Well, there he is, the newest member of the Red Sox. You thought you'd have to go to some mountaintop to find him with an easel. All you have to do is hop on the green line and catch him at Fenway Park. That's the best news. Uh, Goodbye right. and good luck, old pal. Uh, thanks, we have mate. one final tribute coming up in just a moment. Don't go away. Zero down does it at every Ira Toyota Superstore. This is your absolute final weekend to buy a new Toyota without putting money down. Shop over 3,000 new Toyotas and buy a new Toyota Corolla with automatic only $13.9 or lease for $189 a month. Zero down. That's a new automatic Corolla for $13.9 or lease for $189 per month. Zero down payment. Zero down does it at every Ira Toyota Superstore. Rush to Ira Toyota in Danvers, Milford, Manchester, or Tewksbury. Call me. But you're not thinking about baseball, but we are. The Monster Payback is on. Buy any sofa, sectional, dining table, mattress, bed, or rug, even in our factory outlet. And if the Sox sweep the World Championship this year, it'll be yours free. And get this, even if they don't sweep or even make the playoffs, we'll give you back a coupon worth 20% of your qualified purchase towards a future purchase. This year, win or lose, you win. Crest White Strips has created a strip so revolutionary, you can use it while you do just about anything. It molds better. It grips better. And seals better. You can even drink water with it on. Introducing new Crest White Strips Advanced Seal. It's an all-new technology that molds and adheres to your teeth better, giving you a dramatically wider smile. Whitening that fits any life and every smile. New Crest White Strips Advanced Seal. The classic story comes to the stage. This is Dirty Dancing. Limited engagement now through April 12th only at the Boston Opera House. Visit BroadwayAcrossAmerica.com and have a time of your life. I love Prime. They uh, offer a great selection. Prime really treats you with the utmost respect. I went to Park Honda and they couldn't match the price. They couldn't even come close, so I went back to Prime and bought the car. The transparency of the transaction is excellent. You know exactly what you're buying, what you're paying for. The salesman, I could still hear him saying, uh, we're trying to find the car that will best match you. Prime is on your side. Yes, yes, it is. Monday, March 9th, Fighting Crime. Blood up! Tell me you saw that! Should never be by the book. You remember any fun? The cops got wild. You do know I'm wearing a gun. ABC's Castle. Series premiere Monday, March 9th at 10, 9 central on ABC. Well, you just heard Dick Albert give his oh. final forecast a few moments ago, and it's now time for us to give him a heartfelt tribute. And who better to help us look back after over 31 <laughs> amazing years than Dick's close friend, Harvey Leonard. Where your galoshes? I should have listened to Dick 
People have listened to Dickey here at Channel 5 for over 30 years. That's how long he's been tackling New England weather forecasts. We don't live in fear of the great storms. We respect them. Dick Albert has loved every minute of it. His forecasting scorecard's been pretty impressive in this confounding region of changeable weather. You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. What will the weather be this Mother's Day, oh girl? Rumor has it Dick Albert was born with a barometer in his hand. As a student at Newton North High, Dick was a member of the Meteorology Club. This, uh, Old friends remember him as a weather nerd even then. We'd get money for our birthdays or a tennis racket or a ball glove. Dick would get an anemometer. <laughs> On weather wisdom is anemomania. He was a meteorologist for the Air Force before becoming a weatherman in Denver, where his humor was a standout. And our temperature's going to continue the old dipsy doodle. Then he brought his wacky, lovable demeanor back home to New England in 1978. Okay, I'm ready. Bicko, which means, baby, it's cold outside. Well, we, we did. We, uh, uh. But first and foremost, Dick is a scientist who can track a storm, analyze an air mass, an extended outlook with the very best of them. He's traveled near and far to embrace the most extreme weather. From the top of Mount Washington, temperatures 10 below, winds gusting the hurricane force, to Tornado Alley, where the wind comes sweeping down the plane. Dick has won numerous Emmys and other honors. The satellite pictures are in. His children's specials were a favorite. You've got what it takes. And his visits to schools frequent. The lowest relative humidity ever And who doesn't remember Albert's Almanac? Bits of meteorological wisdom forecast. and viewer quizzes that were definitely dick. The answer is true. He was forecasting long before technology revolutionized the field. But when it arrived... Storm Track 5 live Doppler radar. Dick reveled in each new tool of the trade. As long as he was out in the weather, Dick had fun. And wasn't afraid to be made fun of. My flies, my vest, I am ready to fish the bat and kill. When I joined the Channel 5 team almost seven years ago, it was great working by Dick's side, having been friends, competitors, and colleagues for almost a quarter of a century. What am I going to miss the most about Dick? It'll be the great debates that we would have when there'd be an upcoming snowstorm, how much snow to predict, or how hot the next day would be. We could say absolutely anything to each other, and neither one would ever get offended. For each of us, each afternoon coming to work was like going to adult weather camp. I would say Saturday, just ducky weather around these parts. But now it's time for Dick to work on that tennis game, spend more time with his wife, Marianne, his sons, and grandchildren. More time to look up and read the sky, just like he always has. Only now he could just sit back and enjoy the weather. It'll be a breeze. Um, thanks, <laughs> what an amazing 31 years. You have done it all. And I know the outpouring from all the viewers, your fans, uh, phone calls, oh, emails, man. snail mail. It's been a unbelievable. Lot of, a lot of emails. A lot of emails from uh, uh, people that are now 30 or 35 that <laughs> went to their schools and they're scientists now. And uh, people who remember stories from back 20 or 30 years ago. It just made me feel so good. They're so warm. They're so positive. And I want to thank everybody out there who's... Uh, emailed me, sent me letters, uh, called me on the phone. I've just connected with so many people on last few It's been a wonderful experience. It really has. And I know, Mike, you've got a special I, proclamation I, I, here. Yes. I do, but you know, I need a little bit of help. Marianne, will you come over here for a second, please? Hurry <laughs> up. Uh, Marianne. Uh, Maddie, Maddie and Mark. <laughs> Maddie and Mark, come on in here. While right. they're coming over here, Why I want to I say... Why should I be presenting this when these yeah. are the people that had to wait home for those long, long nights when he showed up after noon? Come right behind you, Marianne. Come behind us so you're in Marianne, the lights and everybody can Mark. see you. It's, it's, oh. it's, a, it's a proclamation from, uh, from the mayor, Tom Renino, proclaiming today, February 26, 2009, Dick Albert Day. So that, that's guaranteed oh, to be toasty times great. ahead. Good toasty times. Hey guys, good. Absolutely. Good night to you there. How's that, all right? And what oh, our viewing wow. audience Thank doesn't know so is much. these two really did bicker every <laughs> afternoon. That's the honest to God truth. <laughs> all about weather, all about weather. But never bicker with Marianne. 42 that's years right. of that's marriage. 42 Congratulations years to both of, of you. bliss. And, uh, you're hey, hey, Dick, you get the last five seconds. We're about out of time. I just want to say goodbye to everybody and thank you for watching me all these years. It's been a wonderful ride, and uh, I'm looking forward to the future. Thank you so much. Well said. Well said. Well said. Great job. After 31 years, the Channel 5 family has a weather word for Dick Albert. TFTF.
Thanks for the memories. Baby, it's cold outside. I am ready to fish the bat and kill. Say Saturday, just ducky weather around these parts. Well, you may think you got it tough in your work. Weather for the weekend and yeah. Wednesday? You should ask somebody who's been studying this all day long. I always wanted to be a maestro. For your next chapter, we wish you clear skies and rewarding travels. And for the three decades you graced us with style, knowledge, and warmth, we say thank you. The Dodge President's Celebration event is here, and we're celebrating with them as we go along. Heather and Anthony? So hard to say goodbye, isn't it? Mm, we knew. We knew that it couldn't last mm. forever, and our dear friend Dick Albert wrapped up his 31-year career with Channel 5 earlier tonight. Dickie signed off, surrounded by family and friends here in the studio, and then by really all of his colleagues in a very special send-off. Dick Albert is one of the all-time best. Retirement rocks. <laughs> we kept our viewers wrapped with awe, urging them, stay tuned. 6.15, the weather open starts, okay? He's showing them what's going on. He basically plows through all of them, okay? Almost trampled all of them, body blocks and everything. But he got on the air on time, and nobody at home knew anything was wrong. I wish you as much happiness, as much fun, as much joy, and as much love as I have found in the last year and a half. Right. So did Dick. Right. <laughs> it's about people who like you on the air and trust what you say and believe that you are telling them what they need to know. And I'm hoping that I did that for 31 years. <laughs> so. We'll miss the gift you gave us, shelter from the storm. Oh. Anthony wrote a lovely poem for us. That was it. great. It was great. Oh, it was a everybody. beautiful send off. It, the whole thing was just great. It's he has to be one of the most likable meteorologists mm. in the history of not only Boston television, but all of television, all across the country. And, and I've been at conferences, and I can tell you it's the truth. I have worked with a lot of them, and I can tell yeah. you so, too. He is, and he's he very is special and very unique. A class act, he wonderful is. guy And he's inside the genuine out. article. Right. He is exactly who he is, <laughs> and he's so comfortable in his own skin, just a great person. And as well as being the most likable meteorologist, yes. the most likable guy. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 Doesn't no matter. Question. When he leaves here, he's exactly the same here way. here all the time during storms if he wants to come <laughs> Absolutely. Out. I really want him here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this weekend, even. Well, tonight at the Garden, Bruins goalie Tim Thomas does more than just keep the puck out of the net. Mike Lynch with details coming up in sports. Right now, tonight's winning cash windfall numbers. Here they are, folks. 5, 9, 17, 24, 33, and 45. And another look at tonight's daily number 7, 6, 6, and 8.